So a few weeks ago, I was reading a now deleted Reddit post that suggested that they could get 1 million guests in a Planet Coaster Park. Now, my personal best is 43,000 and that was painful enough, but it left me wondering, can you actually get a million guests in a Planet Coaster Park? Let's find out. Planet Coaster doesn't have a technical limit that I'm aware of, so in principle, a million guests should be possible in the sense that the game will allow it as long as your PC doesn't burn up in the process. Now, a quick calculation of the park area and average space a guest takes up suggests that it's also possible too. So, how should we actually go about this? In order to make this as clinical as we possibly can and get as many guests in without taking too much of a hit on the performance, we're going to need to use a blank park with no rides or any of the usual scenery. So, hang on, we're going to need a flat park for this. There, that's better. And now next, we need to lay down the path throughout the entire park because those guests need a lot of space to walk and spread about. And I mean, a million guests is a lot of people after all. And the spawn points and the entrances can only deal with a certain number of guests per cycle, so we might need some more. Ah, yeah, there we go. And now we're also going to need services. They will want to eat, drink and pee. The rest I think we can leave. The only thing that we can't account for is what happens when the guests start to leave the park again. They're not going to stay in this park forever. But anyway, that leaves us with one thing left to do. Montage. Okay, so the stage is set, but we're not going to get many guests into this park, so we need to enter our friend, the Golden Chest. So this is how the park rating scales actually work. Let's say for now that you're going to get one guest for every one point on the park rating. This isn't quite right. The math at that scale doesn't really work out, but one point per guest gives us a starting point at least. So we technically need one million points. Now we don't because the math scales up on a bell curve, but you actually need fewer points to get more guests. But let's just start there. Right, let's actually do this. We have a park rating high enough, loads of facilities, and an i9-9900KS processor that's ready to cry. Let's open the park and see what happens. I'm going to take bets on how many we can get. This might take a while. What do you reckon? Time lapse? Go on then, you cheeky things. Yeah, actually, guys, even as a time lapse, this is going to be a bit painful. Let's just skip forward a bit. So we're about five hours in and we haven't been able to beat the 43,000 record that Raygate Lake currently holds. And also the frame rate, as you can see, is tanking badly. Now, guys, I'm sorry for the quality of the video in this next bit. We're currently sitting at about six frames per second. We're not even 10% of the way to our goal. But we've also needed to make a few tweaks along the way as well. Now, after about 10 minutes, I noticed something curious starting to happen. Guests seem to be spawning despawning and then respawning at one specific park entrance and it seems that the AI doesn't like the block paving system that I've set up. Now I've also made a quick modification to the part of the path where they seem to be respawning and I've also moved the chests around the park in the hope that this is going to stop guests from leaving early and I've added a few vista points to the back end of the park to drag guests back there and uh, this is perfect for making fake music festivals but it's not so good for the park that we're trying to achieve right now. I've also had to add some rides as well because without them then we were hovering at about 28,000 and this update is now 32,000 so we seem to be going okay that seems to have worked but we also needed some more bins and we also needed some more benches as well so I'm gonna let this carry on running and I'll see you in a couple of hours and so at 41,000 this happened I just hit record I didn't manage to catch the footage in game yeah convenient I know but the game reloaded with 21,000 so I guess we're gonna have to go from there now, curiously, around the 12 hour point, we hit a really disappointing 36,000 guests. I think we hit a roadblock and something needs investigating here. Now, the one thing that I've noticed is that the guest generation has completely plateaued and this seems to be down to that park rating. We've got a very high scenery, but a really low ride and park balance rating, and this seems to matter quite a lot. Looking into this online, the park balance seems to be throttling guest generation. You have to spend an equal amount on rides and scenery to achieve that perfect balance. Now, in our 4 million scenery rated park, 
this is going to be an issue because we are massively outbalanced. It also seems like the spawn rate is stunted by the AI processing guests in the park. So I think we're going to need to tweak again. And if we're going to stand any chance of getting anywhere near a million, we're going to need to add some more rides, add a couple of coasters, remove some of those chests and then see what happens. Guys, it doesn't look good. So I've run this for 24 solid hours and I've repeated it four times. I think we're at the point where we can call it. Back to the original question. No, you cannot get 1 million guests in a park. At least not using the configuration that I've tested with anyway. And I desperately wanted this to be the video where I get to show you a million guests in a park. We didn't even get close. And it seems that whilst there's no theoretical hard limit, there is some sort of throttling going on. It seems that you can hit around 40 to 45,000 guests and then the game completely plateaus. Now, whether this is a soft limit imposed by the game's balance or my poor scientific method, that's open for debate. And I know I've not covered every single variable in this experiment and it might be possible to get more guests if you've got a fully fleshed out, better balanced park. But even with a perfect balance, a quick calculation seems to suggest that you won't even get remotely close to a million even if the scenario spawn rate is set to 500 percent so what have we learned from this little experiment well planet coasters park rating is far too vast to work out it means that the game can't be cheated that easily and while there is no hard limit to guests the park rating seems to throttle the number of guests that you actually get the game also behaves really weirdly when you use the pathing system in the way that i have and using chests to get a million park points is way easier than it first seems but it's not the perfect cheat we expect it doesn't have that result and also the guest ai is stupid but we already knew that. There we have it, nowhere near 1 million guests. But let's be honest, based on a powerful PC running it as sluggish as it did with the number of guests that we got, do you actually want a million guests, even if you could get it? But if you have any ideas on how to make this test better, then maybe we could revisit it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, but thanks for watching. If you do want to try this for yourself, I'll put the park file on the workshop. The link for that is below. I usually build parks, so if you want to see them instead, there's a playlist. Otherwise, see you all soon. Bye-bye.